Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. In this video I'm going to be looking at the System File Checker, which I talk about in Chapter 15 of the book. But what is it, and how can we use it to help troubleshoot problems with Windows 7? The System File Checker is an excellent utility in Windows 7 that can help you repair the operating system if files have become corrupt or damaged and perhaps the operating system is malfunctioning. Here's how it works. It checks all of the files on your hard drive that make up Windows 7 against the original versions of those files on your Windows 7 installation DVD. If it finds any files that have changed or have become damaged or corrupt, then it repairs them by copying the original file back from the DVD. You run the system file checker from the command prompt, which you'll find in the start menu. Click on all programs, and then you'll find it in the accessories folder here. You can also find it by typing the word command into the search box at the bottom of the start menu. To run it, you'll need to right click on it and select run as administrator. This makes sure that the program has the permissions that it needs in order to be able to write Windows operating system files. You'll be presented with a user account control security dialog and you'll need to click yes. At this point you'll need to make sure that you have your installation DVD for Windows 7 that came with your computer or that you bought separately. You'll need to make sure that this disk is in your DVD drive on your computer. With the command window open, you'll want to type sfc space forward slash scan now, where scan now is one word. Then press the enter key. The system file checker will now scan your Windows operating system and compare all of the files that make up Windows 7 against those on your original installation DVD. If it finds any that have changed or have become corrupt, then it will replace them with the original file from the disk. There is just one caveat with this, however. This caveat is that if you have a service pack installed in Windows 7 on your computer, then the installation DVD that you use must also contain an integrated version of that exact same service pack. If it doesn't, the core operating system files will be different and the system file checker won't be able to do its job. The process of integrating a service pack into a Windows 7 installation DVD is called slipstreaming and I provide step-by-step -step instructions on how you can do this in Chapter 16 of the book. The System File Checker is a great and really easy way of being able to repair corrupt and malfunctioning installations of Windows 7. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.